Elden Ring has a reputation to some for being an extremely difficult game. So much so that months after the game's release, there was article after article about how the game should have an easy mode. But what if I told you that you can do this? Oh my god! Oh god! In just 30 minutes after starting a new playthrough. Today, I wanted to go over how exactly I'm able to cheese about every single boss in just 30 minutes of setup. I've seen a lot of new people starting to play the game for the first time to prepare for the upcoming DLC, and I really hope this helps you guys out. Speaking of the DLC though, I'm trying to hit 1.5k subs by the time it drops, and trust me, you're gonna want to be here for that. A small amount of people that watch these videos are actually subscribed, so it really does go a long way, and I hope you guys enjoy. We don't have to go red here. I think hero is probably the better bet because we start with the most strength. Hey, buddy. Cap. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I said, this does require noble skip, which obviously does take practice. But it, th this is assuming everything goes correctly the first time around. It should be a decent setup. Because another thing, I, I was talking to my friend, and he, he doesn't play Souls games. Um... And one of the reasons is it's like daunt like I, I understand because it's like, you know, it's a it's a daunting thing, right? Because it's like soul game soul, soul game hard, you know, for reputation. You know, it, it has it has that kind of thing to it, right? But it's like especially with Odin Ring, like there's so much shit that you can do to make it easy. To where it's kind of like mechanically difficult, but in reality, it's not actually that bad. Uh, gonna grab this for later on. Doesn't really matter um, right now, um, but I am gonna go ahead and pick it up. Also gonna go over here. And this is, I believe, the strength tier. So this is gonna add plus 10 strength. Dark Souls 1, for example. Dark Souls 1 is like incredibly easy, right? Because, you know, you, you can do, you know, what I've done with Pyromancy. And you just get a Pyromancy build, and it's free. You know what I mean? Now, right after getting the Strength Bubble tier, you're going to want to follow this path all the way down into the lake to reach this teleporter located on the map here. Then, after taking that teleporter, you'll end up at Le Ricaria, and you want to make this jump. There we go and go grab the key and then teleport back. After entering Lei Ricaria, you're gonna continue as normal until you reach this elevator, and then you're gonna wanna take the elevator all the way down and get grabbed by this enemy, which then will teleport you to Volcano Manor. Now, after arriving at Volcano Manor, you're gonna wanna make this drop here and make your way up to Godskim Noble, where you will perform Noble Skip. That involves two-handing your fist and then making these difficult jumps here. Uh, you know, that's pretty cool. I don't know why they like I would have much rather Them wait on releasing that, you know um, Oh my god now these do take a lot of practice So don't expect it to do it first try but afterwards we continue on to get serpent hunter Not right card right cart, you know Mario Kart. There he is. Say dude cool grab that heal in front of them for some reason and then do that <laughs> you know okay cool so now the weapon setup is done go all the way back over here to gate front all right so there's like a few things few variations that we can do here um but i'm gonna stick with like the easiest and most straightforward one what, what's our time looking like yeah, yeah, we're at 15 minutes. Yeah, roughly, like I said, we're at roughly 15 minutes after we grab Serpent Hunter. Hey, hey. Okay, grab the flail. Now, we're going to go to Third Church. Well, first, there, there's something we have to grab on our way to Third Church, but that's fine. We go to Third Church, then we're going to grab... We're going to grab Charge Attack Talisman and Charge Attack uh, Crystals here. Get the Golden Toes real quick, then go to Third Church. I I, I got you, I know. I, I'm, I'm goaded. Grab this shit. Because that's good for later, because we'll use that when we kill Grail um, to get the max amount of levels out of it. All right, we're going to grab our Physic here. Rest so we can grab the Grace because we need to TP back. And then we're going to book it towards the tree to grab the Crystal Tier. The Crystal Tier is located, like, not directly behind, but it's, like, it's... 
here. Wow. <laughs> they wanted to be seen, okay? I respect that. Run over here. Take, you know, it's like a slight right from the uh, crystal tier. And then you get to Axe Talisman, say out of this bear, jump off, go down here. Pretty free, you know? Grab that shit, immediately go back to third church. Hop on Torrent to make it a little bit faster, save a little bit of time. Jump off, go here. Warp to Caleb. Ignore Malekith, because he's annoying. Nobody likes him or his kidney stones. I'm gonna run down here. We we'll need it to be nighttime. So, I mean, we need to rest anyway, because we need to get our uh, our six flasks, our six blue flasks. Actually, real quick, let's uh, equip our flail. Uh, what are we looking like for time? We're looking 19 minutes. Yeah, we got plenty of time to do this. You want to come over here, because these are, these are good for later, um, when you have to buy the sombers. So, grab those three, jump down here, hit that. Run over here to this grace. Go ahead and level up the flask with the golden seeds that you picked up. Right? And then go to... We'll make it night, first of all. And then you want to go back to your flask. You want to put them all into blue. That's for later, though. But you're going to want to go to this night calvary. And it's a really... It's like the most consistent cheese setup. I think. The one that's, like, not risky at all, if you fuck up a dodge, um, you can die. So you don't want to mess up a dodge. To guarantee, you just come over here. Have dude jump on this tree, and he's allergic to tree branches, I think. Unless, do you not want to follow me? He's allergic to me, apparently. Hold on. <laughs> Hello? Brother, brother, this has gone perfectly, and you're making me upset. Be allergic to trees. Is this how this is going to go? This is going to go perfectly, and then you're just going to be allergic to trees? Yeah, that's a good night, Calvary. Come here. There you go. Be allergic to tree. Oh, the tree! Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's allergic to tree. He has a nut allergy. All right, so now that guy has a nut allergy and he's dead, um, you're going to want to come over back here. Be a little annoyed because I was going to get um, Rad Radagon Sorcio. Actually, yeah, I'll go grab it. We have time. We'll have plenty of time, actually. Theoretically, yeah. So this guy, I, in testing, he does take six minutes to kill with a plus zero uh, Serpent Hunter. So you could kill this future avatar if you want. Um, but for the sake of being, like, time efficient, in 30 minutes, it might be a little rough because it's a little give or take, you know? Because, like, the route's not perfect, right? You can make mistakes. So to have it guaranteed, just come over here by Grail. We're going to go grab Radagon Source Seal. Realistically, we could grab the 18 decks that we need to wield the Flail uh, with the 42 that we grabbed um, from killing that Night Cavalry. But it's better just to be efficient with it and actually just go ahead and grab Radagon Source Seal, which will, you know, make us waste the last levels that we need to. A little bit of stamina back. Go back here. Make this jump. Go over here. Say hello to Big Rat. Hi, Big Rat. Go down here. Grab Radagon Sword Seal. Then you're going to want to rest. Grab the levels 4 decks, which we're going to need, I think, 13. Yeah, so that should let us use the Flail. Come over to Grail. And we are at there are 25 minutes, technically, because we're subtracting the 1 from actually starting the run. And just do the R2. And with 6 bleed procs, he will drop, I think, what, 55k? Then you're going to want to use the gold pickle foot at the end of that. And you want to make sure you have at least five blue flask here to be able to actually do it fully. Because um, that way you actually, you know, his bleed proc will bleed faster. So you save a little bit of time there. There we go. Pop foot. Eat the feet real quick. And then there you go. Less than 30 minutes. About 28 minutes down. Grab the 65k, and there you go. Just under 30 minutes, you're completely set up, and all you need to do now is just grab the Sombers. Just, it's it's literally free. Um, game's not hard. It's just knowing how to set it up. But um, after that, uh, I, I recommend dumping all into strength. What are we going for here? Well, uh, we already pretty much did it. Uh, I recommend putting all into strength, probably getting strength to about 30 or about 40. Make sure you have about 
I'd say like, yeah, like 44. You go for like 44 strength here. Because you want to make sure you have some runes left over so you can buy the Sombers from EG. And also you can actually use the Sombers to level up your weapon. So anyway, that, that's the setup, you know. And then, like I said, after that, you just grab Sombers, which you can grab every single Somber without having to kill a single boss. Get plus 10 and then you're good. You got the charge attack talisman. And then you got the charge attack um, physics. So, and then after, and you got the strength one. So, basically, just the setup after that, you slap this on and you slap that on, and you're, you're good. But yeah, I, I wanted to make this guide video. Like I said, the purpose of, like, you know, soul game hard. Okay, we'll just do this. Soul game not hard no more. But yeah, I hate watching guide videos and they're like, okay, now you have the setup. Now go grab these things. And then you're like, okay, where are those things at? And they don't tell you. All right, anyway, yeah, for Summers 1 through 4, you can just come to EG um, if, he, if he lets me buy them. He, he doesn't want my money. All right, grab that one, that one, that one, and that one. All right, and then you can find these if they want to unaggro on me. If you don't know where EG is, he's right here on the map. You just come here. There's runes. You just... If you know where the belfries are, you just go to the belfries, come wrap around, and just keep going straight, and there's like a legionary wall there. Grab! There you go. He's fucking me! All right, come up here. I think this is plus six. Uh, yeah, Somber 6. Come up here to the elevator like you're going to Noble. And you're going to take a kind of, like, kind of hard right. And then kind of hold on to here. You see this dude? Give him some back shots and he'll give you plus 5. Realistically, there's one of two things that you can do. You can do the jump again to skip Noble. Or you can kill Noble for 42k. Which, yeah, like, a, you just bait his fireball attack and roll into him. And then for the rest of the time, you just run away from him. <clears throat> So yeah, this is why you needed the two keys, and that's why I picked one up in the beginning, and that's why I wanted to go buy one. Because you need two for this one. Oh, he decided to not shoot me. In that specific time frame. Don't. Hard left. Kind of hard to see down there. Bait that. There's Somber 7. Yeah, for 8 and 9, just travel back to where Grail was. And then just run towards this tower. Then once you get here, you'll see this ball sack beetle. It'll charge R2, the ball sack beetle. Alright, there's our Somber 8. And then you get Somber 9. You go down here. So you're going to want to make a jump here. 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 And then coats off to the left there. Drop down here. And there and then there's your nine and then to get 10 you have to do Vare's quest so i'm gonna go back level up to plus nine and go kill godric real quick all right we didn't have stamina all right godric see that was fun godric that was really fun really really fun i <laughs> And one day we will return together. Let's talk to you. Do it again. I'm not fucking goaded. Right. Is this it right here? Okay, then yeah, pretty seriously. Go ahead. Okay, so we do that. Well, we can't do much of Ari's quest until we go get the Dexus medallions. I'm gonna go grab those. Consistent as you can be with Elden Beasts. So. After killing the invader located on the map here, you're gonna wanna go back to Vare and then go to the four belfries where you'll use this teleporter. After using the teleporter, kill the boss and then grab the blood, go back to Vare, go to Moog's palace, make your way up all the way to Moog and grab the Somber 10. And then after that, upgrade your weapon and then you're done and you can do this. Oh my god! Oh god, no! No! Alright, well yeah, it was a one shot, cool. Alright. Poor Red Wolf. Um, that's, uh, you know, you know, Radagon's pet, you know. Uh, the weapon art did not do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. I'm, yeah, that probably would have one shot if it just charged R2. 
Oh my god, dude. Oop. Alright. <laughs> you know, she, she tried to make it a little difficult for me, and I respect that. But, uh... No. Yeah, I fucking shattered her hip. You know, it's fine. He's like, ah, shit! The sea bear circle. Fuck. Let me teleport. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? Yeah, you know, we're not doing good, are we? You know, you know, it's been fun, Dragonic Tree Sentinel. It really has. <laughs> My R R1 does a thousand damage. It's fucking crazy. Boop. Too easy. Let me see the feet. 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 Oh. I'm gonna do this because he's not gonna start phase transition. And then he's dead here. Easy Morgoth. Hey, fire giant. Ooh. That one hurt, huh? That one was that one was bad, huh? Bye bye. Easy. Oh my God. Oh. There we go. Cool. See you. Goodbye. All right. Easy second phase there. Whoa, the rocks are still there, dude. Oh, God. That's fucking scary a little bit. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you just got killed by this guy. That's crazy. All right, you come. Bro, the fucking gritty and all gooning. All right. All right. All right. Okay. No. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Get the fuck out of here. You're not doing any of your bullshit, Gideon. And maybe. Fucking Yapper Mick Yapperson, dog. Rip off his cock real quick, you know? There we go. That's all that needed to happen. I'm crouched. Oh my god. Smoochies. Oh, Use cock again. Bro, he's getting a lot of fucking to eat. Like, he's getting the Malika treatment like 50 times over at this point. I. I just wanted to hit his fucking knee, man. His old man knee, dude. Boop. Right in the fucking cock. Dude, his cock is he's gone. He's gone. That's where Malika's cock went, you know? One one hit for every inch. Was that like five or six? Well, that's not what I wanted. I'm not gonna rely on rolling that anymore if it's not obvious. Yeah, I don't like risking that roll, so I'm just not gonna do it. Hey, Wumbo, how you doing, dude? Easy 4K, start the fight. What the hell are you doing? Oh, okay. See, what the hell was that? It was like two bit delayed. Depression took a vacation there? That's, that's hype. That's how we fucking do it, you know? Yeah, 
if you can't tell, um, learn how to get better at fighting Elden Beast. You know, now I'm saying you're not dead. Oh, I, hold on. I had to edge him real quick. You know, had to had to edge before I can goon. You know. Well, Gwen, save us, Gwen. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's. That's Serpent on here. You gotta put on this fucking Lego set my dad punted at me real quick. Gotta, gotta re-put on the pieces. You know, for a build put together in 30 minutes, it's pretty good.